What up players, it's Warboss Tay up in this mug. Welcome to day 22 of the Summer Painting Challenge. I finally, after much experimentation, decided on how I want these wings to look. It's his left wing, where you can see the light picking up the tips of the spines, as well as casting through the center. It's a little bit like the old crystal sword effect I used to do for my Howling Banshees. I really like how they look on the wings, and I'm just going to replicate that. I did finish the Retributor Armor shading with Seraphim Sepia, so they're all ready to go. The only thing I gotta do is these darn wings and then I can get to work on the basing, which is not that much for the rest of the month. I'm very happy with my progress. Okay, let's get on to the daily question. So if you could live anywhere in the world and at any point in history, where would you go? I think it would be really cool to visit Italy at the height of the Renaissance, because you've got everybody walking around, uh, the women in all the fancy dresses and the, the men all doled up and the culture, the architecture, the art, the sculptures, I think it would have been just the height of where you could be at the time. It would be pretty cool. Even though I, I don't speak a lick of Italian, I wouldn't know how to get around or what to do for money. I think being in that, uh, ex being able to experience and visit that place, if I could just step into and out of it for a day, it would be a pretty cool place to see. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you'd like to support my channel, you can do so through PayPal, Patreon, or my Teespring store. Links down below in the description. Don't forget to use uh, promo code Hobbyton for a 10% off discount, everything in my store. And if you are thinking of joining the Summer Painting Challenge, commit to a project. Jump on the Discord, commit to a project for July or for August. If you're going to start in July, we only have a couple of weeks left. In fact, just less than two before uh, it's time for you to start. So I would suggest getting a boot camp in now. Uh, the boot camp is not essential to taking part in the challenge, but it is a great way to get used to filming every day or taking pictures and posting every day and working on your hobby every day. Uh, if you don't even want to film or post anything every day, of course, you could just commit to a project and work on it on your own, finish it at the end of the month. But it always is fun to be able to engage with the hobby and with the community. And we have such a great community here on YouTube, guys. So I hope you t take the opportunity to jump in, get some work done, paint something up. And we will see you tomorrow for my progress on day 23. Thanks for watching. What up, players? Gandalf the Grey, up in Dismark. Support Warboss Tay Studios. For now, more than ever, Hobbiton is in desperate need of heroes. Heroes like Daniel Sprinkle, Scrag Fist, Pix, Dicey Guy, Play It Painted, and Logan Swanson.